Hey guys, I wanted to um, shoot a video of me using the Wind Modern Art Kaleidoscope Flakes. Um, these are actually the Hepburn, uh, this blue, which is absolutely gorgeous. And then the Gold Vine Street. Um, again, phenomenal gold color. It's kind of like gold leaf, but it's not. <laughs> and I understand from Victoria, it is not Mylar either. So, I'm not exactly sure what it is. Um, very cool stuff. And I, or we've had a lot of questions, or not a lot, but we've had some questions about how it does in resin. If, um, you know, the density of them, do they sink, do they float? Um, so I wanted to know myself. And um, I can tell you, they do very well in resin. Uh, keep in mind, I'm using a high-quality, low-viscosity casting resin. And um, for the skull piece that I was doing, I even uh, warmed it. So it made it super thin, like water. Um, and I dropped these flakes in literally as soon as I was done mixing. <clears throat> Excuse me. I wanted to see how that would work. Um, so you'll see the end piece at the end of the video. that I do show the skull demolded. Um, there is a tad bit of sinkage. So, again, I think that was due to me warming the resin <clears throat> a bit. And next time, I probably won't do that. But don't get me wrong. I don't hate it. I think the skull turned out amazing. I love it. Um, but, you know, again, there was a tad bit of it. And that was just due to me um, really making my resin thin. So, those of you that are using art resin or tabletop resin should have no issues whatsoever. With that being said, I do want to remind you or mention that you should never be using an art resin and especially a tabletop resin to pour in a deep casting mold like this. Um, it's not a good thing. You're, um, it's not meant to be used in that way. So you can still do small castings with an art resin. Just you can't pour the same amount as you can with a casting resin. Um, if you do especially the tabletop, your resin is going to, um, you're going to have an adverse reaction and your resin's going to get extremely hot. Um, it could even start smoking and those fumes are toxic. So just do not do that. Be very mindful of how much you're pouring um, when you're using an art resin. I just wanted to throw that out there and mention it. Um, but anyway, you'll notice that I also added a tad bit of my favorite Lux metallic powder, uh, Sinatra. So that is that little bit of extra rainbow sparkle you'll see. Um, I, I swear I want to drop it and put it in everything I use. <laughs> um, it's just such a stunning powder. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Um, if you guys ever have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I will be happy to help and, um, you know, there's several other resin users in here that know more or do different things than me. So, uh, it, we can definitely get you some help or answers to your questions. Um, but yeah, at the end of this video, you will see the, um, the end result. Um, I didn't do an actual demolding video. This was the first time I had used this mold. And again, I did this in two layers. So you, you're seeing the second layer being poured that I did last night. Um, but I don't have good luck with demolding videos. They'll either, I'll drop them or they ex end up being extremely hard um, to get out of the mold. And I didn't know how this was going to, to come out of the mold. If it was going to be an easy one or if I had to fight with it a bit. Um, so yeah. Uh, I hope uh, you guys are having a great weekend, and I hope uh, I answered some of your questions. Y'all have a great Sunday.